Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Let's Play Slay the Spire. Uh, I looked at the audio in our um, in our first video, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pump it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy, just to uh, you know make it so that you can actually hear like the sound effects and stuff. So uh, I don't want to quit. I want to continue. Okay. So what do, what do we have here, huh? Enemy, enemy, question, enemy, question, question. Before I get a choice. Which means I miss out on that campfire. There's an elite member there. But I would still get a campfire. So I could do an enemy. Three question marks and elite. Before going to the campfire. And then I can go to a merchant, which is up and to the left. Okay, I think I see the path I want. I think I want this one. Well, I mean... Whenever I am attacked, that's one attack at... Or one damage at five, I think. Okay. Okay. So that's a skill, that's a skill, that's a skill. So I won't be able to use the Clash. Um, we're going to use the Flame Barrier and the Defend. And that's it. There's no way. Kaka! Strength! <laughs> that's what I was hoping it would do. Gain okay, nine blocks. So he's going to deal 13 damage to me, huh? So what we'll do is we'll defend, we'll true grit, and we'll get rid of a strike, because why not? And then we'll just attack. Curse is unplayable. Pummel strike. Oh, you take like half the... Okay. Receives 50 less attack from damage. Canceled if dealt attack damage twice in one turn. Well, I mean, I I got to do that. There we go. He's no longer flying. He's stunned. Well, I mean, gain five block. Get my clash in. Do, do free damage. There we go. Gain ethereal. If this card is in your hand at the end of the turn and is exhausted... Uh... Until, until next turn, prevent damage. Eight damage to all enemies. Exhaust all non-attack cards from your hand. Deal 16 damage. I'd rather the eight damage to all enemies. The artifact. So can I can I see what he has? He intends to block. Block is not removed at the start of its turn. Negates three debuffs. Clash, clash. Well... I can hit everything. End the turn. I don't think it really matters what I do, but... Yeah, I don't have enough energy. Well, I got rid of one of his debuffs. Gain 12 block. Ooh, okay. The cleave is 8 damage. Yeah, because he's going to try and attack us. We'll do this. Okay, dual wield. The clash. Confirm. Do the defend. Then I can hit the clash multiple times. There we go. Perfected strike. Six damage. Three additional damage for all cards contained in strike. Deal two damage four times. Gain four strength at the end of this turn. Lose four strength. Strength that adds additional damage to attacks. That's not horrible. Yeah, let's grab that. Question mark. 
You encounter a group of bandits wearing large red masks. Hello, pay up the pass. A reasonable fee for all your gold will do. No. The enemy's attacks are unknown. Intends to inflict a powerful negative effect. Deal 50% more damage. Yeah, we'll get rid of... Or we'll work on pointy a little bit. There we go. Grab him, bear. Dexterity is down. Oh, that's a curse, so I can't play my Clash no matter what. Well, we can get rid of him. We can do that. This is fine. We can deal with this. So power, skill, skill, skill. So we can't use the clash here either. Gain 14 block. Um, we'll do that. And I have no energy now. So, yeah. Flex. Dual wield. I don't think it really matters, but... Double tap. And that is it. Oh, he is... Uh, he's doing some good damage. Your next two attacks are played twice. I have to I have to get rid of this guy. Didn't matter. Hold on. Whenever I play 10 cards, draw a card. Improves blocked gain by cards. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at my damage stuff. Deal 10 damage, deal 10 damage, deal 4 damage. He plans on block and attack. So, fire potion, throw. Defend. Do that. Do that. Oh... Oh, I just screwed up. Yep. Oh. Strike. Strike. There we go. Oh, red mask. At the start of each combat, apply one weakness to all, or one weak to all enemies. Okay. Deal five damage twice. Enemy loses three strength. Draw two cards. Put a card from your hand on top of your pile and then exhaust it. I kind of like the five damage twice. Oh, we have an enemy to fight. Oh, and we're going to have an elite as well. Great. Exhaust a card in the hand, huh? Okay, I think I can do that. I think this is going to make the most sense. We get rid of the block. We will do a combust. We will do this. And then that. And then end the turn. Yep. Okay. He's going to do a crap ton of damage to me, and I don't think I can win. Drink. Gain 10 block. Drink. This car, uh, duplication person, your next card is played twice. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. 
I think I have to because I need more. No! Oh! Defeated. New character! That is a shame. I, I hit triangle, which was the confirm button, instead of X to throw the cards up. Play. Oh, I could do the daily climb now. Standard. Ironclad. The silent. I mean... The start of each combat, draw two additional cards. A deadly huntress from the Foglands eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. I, I want to go back and do the ironclad. I gotta... Hold on. No, we're gonna abandon the run. Even though there's a there's a giant whale. Which is not... Uh, hopefully we'll see that whale again. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to play. I want to do standard. L2 has set the seed. Oh, I can just... Type in something and that'll give me a seed. Okay. Back to the ironclad. Another try. Reach the boss to receive more blessings. Enemies in your next three combat have one HP. No, I want max, max HP. Okay, so what are we looking at here? A couple question marks over here. Enemy, question, question, enemy, rest, question, but then an elite. The only way to not get an elite would either be go up to the right, which I think I could do. We would miss the merchant, though. Or there's a lot of combat on that left side. And another elite in... in order to even get that merchant. So you have to hit the elites to get the merchant on this run. Ah, uh, we'll do Yeah, we'll do this side. Curl up. Oh, we no longer have cards in our deck. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Damn. Well, we can do that, we can do this, we can do this. Oh! Spitweb. I'm weakened. But it's dead, so it doesn't matter. Headbutt. Deal 9 damage. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Oh, Sword Boomerang. That just... Lo I actually, no. Combust is pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna go Combust. Although, if I see Sword Boomerang, I'm gonna do Sword Boomerang next. Defend. 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 So he deals no damage. Combust. Defend. Strike. Bash. I don't have any energy. I need energy. Like, energy seems to be the thing that is uh, hard to come by. There we go. Infernal Blade. Add a random attack into your hand. This costs zero this turn. Exhaust. Perfected Strike. Oh. And then draw one card. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Perfected Strike, I think. I want the question mark. As you come to a dead end and begin to turn around, wall slam. Okay. Let's upgrade a card. And we will upgrade Perfected Strike. Well, actually, no. Ooh, the seven extra damage. Yeah. That one. We go here. As you walk into a room, you hear gurgling and grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light. Perhaps something magical? It looks like you can get some treasure if you reach inside its opening. However, the acid and shop objects may hurt. Lose 3 HP, 25% find a relic? Yeah. Ouch. 
All you find is corroded metal and a bit of burning pain. However, you're still convinced there's a relic. All you find is corroded metal. Y yes. After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pull away <laughs> out of the ooze, but uh, damaged but rewarded. What is that? Re How do I... No, no, no. We can leave. We have to go here. I want to know what that relic does. End of combat, heal 6 H. You can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times. Strength adds additional damage to attacks. That's not bad. Well, we can get rid of this. There we go. Lick. Gross. That did a good amount of damage. And I'll defend myself. Defend. Defend. Strike. I blocked it. Take that. And that. Ooh, apply three weak. Okay. Uh, thunderclap. Deal four damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times. Add a random attack to your hand. Sword boomerang. I said it. Once I see it, I'm going to do it. If I go here, I have to fight an elite monster. I think I want to go here, though. Start battles with plus one strength. So all of my attacks will do one more damage. I mean, I think I have to do lift. Haha, -ha, proceed. Among the stone and boulders, you know, the blah, 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 uh, requires 10 or more damage. Oh, I can't do the other one. All right. Uh, remove a card from our deck and lose 7 HP. S someone once told you of a cult that worshipped a giant bird. As you kneel in prayer, you begin to feel lightheaded. You wake up some time later feeling strangely fleet of foot. Let's get rid of one of the blocks. Enemy. Okay, so it's the artifacts. So I can bash. And then... We don't know what he's going to do, so we know we're going to end up taking nine. So let's do that. Oh, it's the dazed crap again. That's right. All right, so we go combust. We deal some damage. Uh, we'll gain some block. All right, so the faster I can kill these guys, the better. Sword boomerang. Oh, perfected strike. Yes. Boom. Sword boomerang. Boom, boom. Yep, yep, yep. Gets rid of that one. Okay, you're going to deal damage to me, but I think I can just kill you here. Boom. Stone Calendar. At the end of your turn, deal 52... End of turn 7. 52 damage to all enemies. Yes. Whenever you draw a status or curse card, deal 6 damage to all enemies. Deal 13 damage. Apply one weak, one vol. Put a card from your disc. Oh. That fire breathing, though, could be very good. Yeah, I, th I think we'll do fire breathing. Okay, so if I go... I can go to a merchant here, but then I have three enemies in a row. Or I could go over here. Have to fight... An elite somewhere. Or I could go to the right, but I don't get a merchant. Unless I go left, in which then there's three enemies. I think... I think we go to this one. Prevent the first time you would lose HP each combat. Okay. Light protection. 
All right, uh, combust. Bash. Perfected strike. Sword boomerang. <laughs> True grit. Battle Terrence. Draw three cards, cannot draw. Uh, apply three weak and three vulnerable to all enemies. Shockwave is pretty good. Okay, I have to fight an elite in order to get to the merchant. Or I rest and then I still have to fight an elite. I think we I think I gotta do it this way. Metallicize. So you're sleeping right now, huh? Shockwave. Metallicize wears off. Stunned. Okay. Well, Sword Boomerang gets me free damage. Strike. Uh, defend. Even though I didn't need to defend, I just realized. Because we hadn't been dealt damage. Status or curse? Well, I don't have any of that. So, boom. Boom. And that's it. So we'll do that, and we'll do that. There we go. Perfected Strike should take it out. There we go. Nice. Upon pickup, gain two potion slots. Hot damn. When you would die, heal to 30% of your max HP and discard this potion. Yes. Gain five block and deal five damage. I mean, that's... That's a benefit in any sort of way. Hello! Okay, hold on. Exhaust all non-attack cards. Deal 16 damage. Shuffle seven, uh, Shuffle a dazed into your draw pile. Gain two strength. Gain seven block and exhaust a card at random. Whenever this card is exhausted, gain three bl uh, block. Whenever you play five cards in a single turn, deal ten damage to all enemies. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your draw pile. It costs zero until played. So that's really nice for, like, um, our two costers. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. At the beginning of combat, discard any number of cards and draw that many. Cards with exhaust when played will instead discard 50% of the time. Gain four plated armor. Kill 20% of your thing. Gain one ritual. Ritual. Gain strength at the end of your turn. I mean, that's not horrible. Oh, that's a potion. No, 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 no. Is that also a potion? No, that's just... That might be a potion. Actually. I mean, the Strange Spoon isn't a bad, um... One, because I know we have a couple of exhaust stuff. So we can buy that. And I'll gain, I'll gain some strength stuff. Yeah. Fight you. Hello. Do that. Do this. And that's that. Because he's, he's not going to deal me damage. There we go. And that. And that. There we go. Explosive potion. 10 damage to all enemies. Gain 5 block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Deal damage equal to your block. I think armaments has to be what we do. And I can't remove cards from my deck at the moment question mark you come across an inconspicuous pedestal with shining gold idol uh sitting peacefully atop it looks incredibly valuable how you sure don't see any traps nearby uh take as you grab the idol and stow it away a giant boulder smashes through the ceiling on the ground next to you, you realize that the floor is slanted downwards as the boulder starts to roll towards you 
outrun, become cursed with an injury, take 22 damage, or hide. Oh, I'll hide. The shoulder flattens you a little as it passes by, but otherwise you can get out of here. What does the golden idol do? Oh, I can upgrade a card. I can do another plus one strength. But I think resting is the best choice here. Battle start. Okay, what do you do? Enemies drop 25% more gold. That works with me. Uh, oh. So I could upgrade bash. So you're going to you're going to be a question mark guy, aren't you? I think however I'm going to bash and just st strike. Six damage. So we're going to flex. We're going to block. Uh, no, I don't need to block. What am I talking about? I'll just do this. Sword boomerang. And strike. Oh, it only blocked one of them. Uh-oh. Nice. Unplayable. At the end of your turn, take two damage. Gross. Okay, I think we're going to do that. Sword Boomerang. And we'll block one of the attacks, essentially. This is going to get hard. Okay. What, is, what are you planning on doing? You plan on blocking and buffing. All right. Um... I think that's what we have to do. Okay. So you're going to do six damage to me. Sword boomerang. Oh, perfect. We got through that. Barely, but we got through that. The ghost. Ancient potion. Add a card to our deck. Deal 32 damage with bludgeon. Deal 10 damage. If fatal, raise your max HP by 3. Gain 2 vulnerable. At the start of your turn, gain energy. I mean... Triggers, this, triggers whenever this card kills a non-minion enemy. Eh, sure, why not? Calling Bell. Fusion Hammer. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at... No. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. No. Calling Bell. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. Energy is now conserved between turns. That's strong. Did I just gain 12 gold? <laughs> so there's a merchant. Oh, there's a merchant immediate. In which I can ignore the elite. And then there's another merchant. Which I know would end up... Uh, Destroying my, um, uh, one of my relics, but still. Enemy, merchant, unknown, unknown, merchant, rest, unknown, unknown, chest, enemy, unknown, unknown, rest, unknown, rest. I think, 
I think that's like the best path. Not that many enemies, unless they happen in the unknown. So we're gonna we're gonna try this uh, in the next uh, video, and maybe we'll make it past the city. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.